Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video we're going to talk about uh, classes, okay? So uh, instead of writing the functions in, in the classes in the same file, let's create another file. So to do that, I'm going to click in project, I'm going to click in add, and I'm going to click in new item. And I'm going to select a class uh, file, okay? So you guys can see we have different files and this ID. If you are curious about this ID, the name is over here, okay? It's called Sharp Develop. Uh, let's uh, add a class, uh, let's give it a name. Let's give it the name Student because uh, for some reason we wanna uh, uh, create a system uh, or program that create uh, implementation of a student okay so let's do that so we have this over here we have some formation we have the default uh, uh, of the objects as you can see we have public class student okay we have public student which this is called a constructor okay I'm gonna comment over here constructor and uh, the constructor uh, gives uh, the object some initialize some some initial parameters. Okay, so by default uh, we don't have any constructor, but we're gonna talk about this later. So uh, because we are, we wanted to create a implementation of a student, we need to think about the attributes or the properties of a student. So for the sake of this video just type public and you're gonna use some data types to interpret some of the uh, properties so public because we're gonna access those fields from another class okay so the first uh, pro property would be name so to store the name we're gonna use a string and the name of the property should be capitalized the first letter the first letter should be capitalized is a good practice okay so we're gonna have name we're gonna have the age so we're gonna store a age okay we're gonna store uh, an array of doubles okay which is going to be the grades okay okay so so um, this uh, our uh, name. Let's just comment to the age and grades. So the grades will be basically three grades, okay? And we're gonna have some of the functionality of a student. So this uh, constructor. Let's just uh, comment default. This will be our default constructor. Let's create another uh, constructor, student. So you guys need to um, call the same method, but we're gonna add another constructor. The constructor will receive, uh, this constructor will receive the name of the student, okay? So let's create a variable name. And we're gonna pass uh, the name of the student over here and we should be able to get the student's um, name. So let's go back to program.cs. Uh, let's create a student. Okay, student, for instance, um, Steve, which be equal new student. So if I type Steve dot name, we know that the Steve names is Steve. Okay, Steve, uh, Steve dot age equal 17 and Steve uh, dot uh, grades be equal new double to initialize. We're going to use the, this inline initialization 7.5. I'm going to use 0 to 10. Okay, uh, 6.3 and um, 8.3. One. So 
we have this property of this student okay uh, if I want to uh, show the some information for instance student uh, plus uh, Steve dot name so let's start by doing this as you guys can see we have Steve okay so this is the basic guys um, I'm gonna cover more in the next video I hope you guys like it and see you guys next time